Hello and welcome to a video tutorial on how to draw shapes in Google Slides. My name is Tyler Osborne. So what you need to do is you need to go into Google Slides and um, go to the shape tool right there. So it's right underneath the range and it looks like a circle and a square. If you click on that, it gives you a drop down menu of all kinds of different shapes that you can use. So there's equation symbols if you wanted to do some math. There's callouts for comics. There's arrows. And this isn't the only place that you can get arrows, but these arrows can be typed inside of. And then there's shapes. Shapes are what you're going to use the most for drawings. So I'm going to go ahead and pick an oval. Now, if I hover over each one of these, it'll actually tell you what they're supposed to be. So even though this one looks a lot like a circle, it's actually the oval shape. Now, to draw one, you click and then you drag. So it's a two finger action. You can make the oval look like a circle or you can make it look like an oval like this. So I'm going to drag until it's the right shape that I want, and then I'm going to let go. Now, Google will automatically color this. Um, in Google Slides, I believe it does it in gray. In Google Drawings, it's a, a little bit blue. To change the color, you need the object selected. So if you've clicked off like I have just now, to select an object, go over top of it, and you get the crosshairs, click once, and then you can go to this paint bucket to change the color of it. So let's say I want this brown. Now. It has a black outline. It's really difficult to see, but there is a black outline there. Let's say I wanted to get rid of the black outline. What I would do then is I'd go to the line color, the border color, which is right beside my paint bucket, and I'd change it to the same color that I did inside. Now there is no border along the outside, no outline. It's all just one color. So you can add all kinds of shapes together. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna go for what I want here. Maybe I'll go for this weird one right here. It's kind of a teardrop shape, like that. Now, it won't automatically color them the same. So you'll have to go in individually if you want them all the same color and make them the same color like that. So I got this teardrop shape there. So you can fool around a little bit with the different shapes. Uh, and that's all you need to know about putting shapes into your Google Slides. Thanks for watching.